Hello, BTEC Applied Science Unit 16 Astronomy. And this is a, an introduction to the astronomy unit, which is one of the optional units. Uh, you may end up doing it. Uh, if you want to know about it, it's uh, page 127 in the specification. Uh, it's Unit 16, Astronomy and Space Science. Um, 60 guided learning hours. So um, if you're doing the extended certificate, note that um, Unit 3 is 120 guided learning hours and it's worth twice as much. Nevertheless, there is a lot of work in this one as there are in all of the other optional units as well. Why do this unit? <clears throat> it's very interesting. I mean, I'm a physics teacher and I teach GCSE astronomy. I do find astronomy very interesting. Uh, if your teacher is a physics teacher, then uh, they'll do a good job of it. And the other physics unit is electricity, which is harder. You know, there's a lot more maths in the electricity unit, so it's the easier of the two physics units, mainly because there isn't as much maths in it. There's a lot less maths in it. Uh, there are four assignments. Assignment A, Assignment B. Assignment C and D are kind of lumped together into one assignment, but basically there are four assignments. And uh, assignment A is you do research and you write a report. Um, your teacher should spend some time going through this, maybe explaining this, that and the other. But assignment A is about the sun. It's about the relationship between the Earth and the moon and the sun. Uh, it's about other planets and it's about other things in the solar system. And that's assignment A. Uh, assignment B uh, about telescopes, uh, some research and report on telescopes, some practical work uh, to do with lenses and mirrors. Um, then, very important, there are daytime observations, which mostly involve the sun, and nighttime observations which will involve you, for some of them, using a telescope. So whether you have your own telescope or you can borrow one or you go out with the rest of the class for an observing session, whatever, you are supposed to use a telescope for your nighttime, for some of your nighttime observations, as you'll see, okay? Uh, assignment C is uh, the design of spacecraft about space flight the history of space flight, the future of space flight, what missions are going to be happening in the future, uh, and why? You know, what are the applications of space technology? Is it worth spending all this money on space research? Of course it is, as you'll see. And then assignment D uh, is about stars and the life cycles of different types of star, what the different types of star are, and then theories about the universe. You might remember from GCSE to do with redshift and Hubble and stuff like that. Cosmology, yes. Uh, and those are the four assignments that you have to do. Okay, there is a lot to get done. Um, I mean, none of the optional units are easy. I, I'm a physics teacher. I wouldn't have a clue with the biology ones and the chemistry ones. OK, I'm a, I'm a physicist. I teach A-level physics. Uh, even for a pass grade, there's a, a lot to do. Uh, and much of it is pretty high level stuff. I teach GCSE astronomy and most of the GCSE astronomy course is in this unit. OK, uh, as I said, you'll have to do some observations using a telescope. OK. Your teacher should go through most of what you need to know and explain the trickier bits, although a lot of it will be you doing research, finding stuff out, writing a report on it, doing a sources table, um, research and report, I call it. I'm going to do a video 
a brief video for each assignment with some general guidance, a few tips and tricks. One of your resources will be um, my YouTube channel for astronomy, my astronomy GCSE YouTube channel. You find most of the information on there.